Hey guys, look what came in the shop this week from Runcam. We have a new Owl Plus 2 here on the bench. I'm going to open this up and show it to you. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what's different about this Owl 2 Plus versus the older Owl. Uh, some of the upgrades that are included on this one and maybe why you'd possibly want to buy it. Um, so anyway, what's new is definitely the OSD on here for battery voltage, the pilot name. Uh, you've seen that already on the channel from the Swift 2. Uh, and some of the newer 2017 run cams are all coming out with those same features. Uh, also has an onboard microphone so you can add audio and record your motor noise some guys like to do that while they're flying and also a little sort of beefier sturdier mounting bracket that comes along with it uh, but I'll go ahead and open this one up and it is also IR blocked it also comes with this little uh, three position mounting brackets on the side of this little extra plate here so if you have a uh, some sort of a configuration we need to use this that's nice that they include that in this setup now this is 150 degree field of view on this lens it's a 2.5 lens and uh, this is the body that comes along with it this is the single mounting bracket body uh, also on the back of this it has a different style back plate and you can take this one off if you don't want to use this one typically using racer quads uh, this for racer quads I usually take this off if I'm going to mount it to the mount that comes along with it I'll leave this on there but you have another back plate here as well so uh, you can also get this one in NTSC and PAL versions are going to be available I think they're in uh, orange and black as always with run cam now it's cool because all the screws included with it also the accessories are now all M2 kind of standard M2 screws here's that mounting bracket you can use these on quads or uh, FPV planes which is kind of nice. You can adjust the tilt on here as needed. This one doesn't have little notches or degrees of tilt printed on this one, I just noticed. Uh, but you do have a variety of mounting holes through the bottom there if you want to use those. Now, this one is also IR blocked. Like I said, with a lot of the other run cams, they are IR blocked. It makes a nice image quality. And your input power on this one's five to 36 volts. So you can run this one directly off of your battery terminal if you wanted to on your quad, and it's not gonna fry it. As long as you're flying four to five S um, run cam, it has a pretty nice voltage range on most of their products and most of their, their cameras are actually pretty wide voltage range uh, but it, I always suggest using an LC filter in between your video receiver and uh, your board if you're going to bounce off and, and do that uh, directly from your power source on your quad uh, as always now the weight of this one is 14.7 grams it looks like it has a pretty large lens on here so I'm expecting it to be a little bit heavier than something like the Swift 2 um, might be a little heavier than that one but you also have the option with this one it is called the owl so you have that sort of night vision capability on this one you can fly at night with this one and that's what's neat about the original owl is that this one kind of sees in the dark and I'll try to give you a little example of that uh, bef before we end the video now also in the box aside from the camera you get a variety of accessories with run cam stuff and I always like their accessory packs I always look forward to opening these up and adding them to my gearbox uh, and I'll show you a couple different things that come along with these if you've never seen run cam stuff this is cool because they usually give you one of these little OSD programmers um, no not the OSD on the quad like minimum OSD the OSD on the camera itself so on the back here you can go into the camera settings with this little guy if you just plug it into this far right port right here and once you're powered and you look inside your goggles or your monitor you can hold it in the upright position just like this and press down to make a selection or you can use the joystick to go left right up and down and the cool thing about this accessory pack is also you get this little cable and I love this because this actually plugs into the far right hand side over here and once you do that after it's mounted on your quad you can run this little cable down and out to the side of your race quad so that you don't have to take your camera off or take a plate off the top of your quad to plug in your OSD programmer. If you want to change some settings on the fly, I suggest mounting this somewhere so you can access it, uh, somewhere accessible from the side of your quad. 
So you can plug that in and do your OSD programming pretty sweet. But you have a lot of things inside these cameras that you can change. You can change the brightness, contrast, WDR settings, and so on. Uh, also in the accessory pack is two other cables here. This is just standard. This is your video five volt and ground cable. And these are silicon, by the way. I love that Runcam gives silicon cables because sweet, because when you're soldering things, if you have to cut this wire and solder it onto some other type of harness for connecting to another VTX or um, flight board, you can do that. And if you touch the side of this wire with a soldering iron, you're not gonna burn it. It's not gonna melt and start smoking on you like a lot of plastic wire does. Um, it's included with a lot of cheaper components. Uh, run cam typically not really uh, considered to be a cheaper component. So you also get some uh, another harness on here as well for hooking up to your camera and to your flight controller if you need to. And this is that M2 hardware I was telling you guys about. Tons of hardware inside this pack. Uh, also you get some nice spacers some plastic spacers so that you don't have uh, any problems with shorts, but these camera housings are plastic as well, so you shouldn't have any problems with shorts. But if you're building, I always tell people to use a smoke stopper. If you don't know what a smoke stopper is, just look it up on YouTube. You can build one um, for a couple bucks. Pretty nice when you finish up a build to use your smoke stopper. Now, so far, just powering this up outside and testing it before I actually have it on a quad to uh, go out and fly. This is great because uh, here in the Pacific Northwest where we're at, um, it's, it's dark a lot. So this camera is great for places where it's gonna be a little darker during the day. If you have an overcast day, this is great. It does really, really well in low level light situations uh, and when it approaches dark. Uh, there's been a lot of times when I've been flying cameras uh, close to dark during the summertime and I'm out until the last minute of a day and uh, it gets a little bit dark and then you just can't see anything anymore. But as the sun goes down with this particular camera, you're not gonna to have to worry about that because this OWL 2 Plus is, is really going to um, change as, as the light levels go lower and lower. You'll still be able to see the ground, which is great. Um, some of the problems with some of the other cameras out there is the fact that when you're flying and the sun starts to go down or it gets a little bit dark, all of a sudden you can't see below the tree line and the whole ground uh, below the skyline looks black. Uh, and until you fly down at the ground and get back to the ground level, you'll be able to see again. But uh, very important that you're able to see to get back home safely. So anyway, guys, that's been this uh, quick little unboxing and review of the run cam. Now let's go outside and show you some, uh, some footage of how my testing went with this OWL Plus 2.
Okay, let's do some testing at night. It's really pitch black outside right now, and uh, I'm able to see pretty well with this camera. This Altu Plus looks pretty good. I can see definition in the tree trunks. I can see the leaves in the trees, and uh, I definitely think I could fly with this camera at night. I'm not supposed to be flying at night, and I'm kind of a big channel, so I'm not gonna do that, but I just wanted to go out and have fun with this camera at night and show you what it looks like outside uh, in the pitch black, in the dark. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.